<laughs> it's so great to be here with all of you on such a beautiful day. I'm here for freedom, just like all of you. Yeah. Yes. In the last few weeks, I've had the honor of being able to go and help support other great Americans like Herschel Walker, who are stepping up to serve and to protect our country. And everywhere I've gone, I've been asked a question by local reporters, usually you say, gosh, Tulsi, it's a little strange. You were just a Democrat a few weeks ago, and now you're here campaigning for a Republican. And what I told them, I was like, no, it's only strange if you're paying attention to the wrong things. And this is the problem, is there are too many people in the media and on social media who are trying to divide us. They are trying to tear us apart, pit us once, one against the other, so that we're not paying attention to the important things about who we are as Americans, what we stand for, and our commitment to freedom. And they're trying to get us to forget this because every single day we are seeing attacks on our freedom. Every single day we're seeing policies that are destructive to families, that are hurting our kids. And that's why now is the time for us, we've got to take a stand. You know, the, the first three words of the Declaration of Independence were chosen very carefully. We the people. We the people. That was our founders setting out a timeless call to action to every single one of us to remind us that we are a self-governed people. The government, we don't work for the government. They work for us. And we've got to remember that and we do that by making sure that our voice is heard in these elections. And that's where in just a few days here, all of you, every American across this country has the very clear choice. Someone told me the other day, the clear choice is between crazy and common sense. I think we know who stands for common sense. The choice is for freedom and to protect it against those who seek to take our freedoms away. That was the heart of why I decided to leave the Democrat Party, is because it has become this radical woke party that stands against freedom. They've thrown our Constitution in the trash and are willing to do anything and everything to further their own power at the expense of the well-being of the American people and our freedoms. So now, as we go into these last days of the campaign, Think about this country that we love. Think about those who you might know in your life, whether it's at work or church or people maybe you haven't talked to in a while. People who might not know yet who they're going to vote for. Share with them what's in your heart. Don't make this about Democrats versus Republicans or us versus them or any of that. Now is the time for us to save this country and the only way that we can do that is if we truly stand together as Americans. I'm so proud and grateful to wear the cloth of this country to serve in the Army Reserves. I'm so proud to have served now for almost 20 years with so many great Americans. And it is for them, it is for them that I think of and that I honor in the very best way that I can every day. Our friends who never came home. Our friends who we need to honor their memory and their sacrifice and truly what the heart of this country is. Thank you. We are the only ones who can save this country. We are the only ones who can truly bring about a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. We don't have that right now. But I'm standing here in support of Herschel Walker because he is a man of the people. Amen. He's a man on a mission. He is loyal to serving you, the people of Georgia, and the people of this country. And he has expressed his appreciation for the service and sacrifice of my brothers and sisters in uniform, not just once a year on Veterans Day when it's popular to say thank you for your service and then go around and not take care of our veterans, like too many of our politicians. He is someone who has gone out and spent his time and energy over 15 years honoring that service not in front of the cameras, not to get attention for himself because he truly understands the service that they and, our and their families make. To me, that's the kind of leaders that we need in this country. People who are not doing it for themselves, but they're doing it for others. 